Hello, today's topic is combining like terms. We're going to review some definitions, show you some examples, and practice a few problems. Let's get started. <clears throat> you have two choices right now. You can pause the computer and copy down this chart. If you decide to do so, please make sure that you leave two rows for the definitions and three rows for the examples. Or you can watch as I go through, describe each term, show you the definitions, and the examples. That'll be your choice. Okay, so let's talk about the first term. The first term is expression. An expression is a math phrase using variables, numbers, and addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division signs, as well as parentheses sometimes. An example of an expression is 5x minus 2. We will use the example 5x minus 2 throughout all of these uh, definitions so that you'll be able to see some consistency uh, with, with what the words mean. <clears throat> the next term is variable. A variable is a letter used to represent an unknown number or quantity. In the example 5x minus 2, the x is the variable, and that is shown by the black typeface. The next term is constant. The definition of constant is a number in an expression. And in the expression 5x minus 2, the negative 2 is going to be your expression. Excuse me, is going to be your constant. Now make sure when you're identifying it that you always take the sign in front of the number as well because that is part of that term. So it is a negative 2 in this case. Coefficient is the next term. And a coefficient is <clears throat> the number that's being multiplied by a variable. And it's always going to be in front of the variable it's multiplying by. So again, in the example 5x minus 2, the 5 is going to be the coefficient. The last term we're going to talk about is equation. And I have the equation in here because I want you to know the difference between an equation and an expression. There's only one very small difference between the two of them. And the difference is that an equation has an equal sign. So it's a math phrase using variables, numbers, and addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. And it has an equal sign. So if we were to take the expression 5x minus 2, we would just have to add an equal sign and another number or another value to set it equal to. And that turns the expression into an equation. Okay. Again, pause now if you need to copy down the notes. Let's move on. If you like graphic organizers, more so than uh, words in a diagram, feel free to use this as well. We're going to use the same material, as you can see the expression, variable, constant, and coefficient are all the same terms, and the, exp the, uh, the expression is the same. So there's your definition for expression, there's your definition for variable, there's an example of your variable, there's the definition for constant, a number and expression, there is the example, negative 2 was the constant. And there's the definition for coefficient, the number being multiplied by a variable. Okay? And the coefficient in this example was 5. So, just another way to look at it. And hopefully one of these two ways works for you. Okay, let's move on. <clears throat> let's do a little practice. So I want you to pause the computer right now, and I want you to write down those five terms. Once you write them down, I want you to identify using either a V or a C or writing the words variable and constant next to them to see if you get it right. So pause now and go ahead and do that. Okay, so let's see if what your answers, what you got for your answers are correct uh, for, this, for this chart and for these questions. So the term X is a variable. The number 230 is a constant. 
5m to the second power. That may be a little bit tricky because it does have a number in it, but it also has a variable. Let's see what we get. If you got variable, you're correct. And the reason why it is a variable is because it has a variable in there. As long as it has, as soon as it has a variable, it is known as a variable. The 5 in that expression would be known as the coefficient and not a constant. Negative 160 would be the fourth one, and that is a constant, again, because there are no variables. It's just a number. And then the last one, negative 6r to the fourth. If you said that it is a variable, you would be absolutely correct. Again, going back to uh, the same reasoning for number 3. All right. I hope you got 5 out of 5 on that. Let's move on. In combining like terms, there are three rules. Again, why don't you pause? Actually, I take the back. Why don't you wait, watch the video, see how much room you're going to need, and then create your table based on the amount of room that you're going to need. Okay? So the first rule in combining like terms is you can only combine variables with variables and constants with constants. Okay? An example of that is over here. 5x plus 15 minus 7x minus 8. And I'm going to look and I'm going to say, okay, I see a 5x and I see a negative 7x. Those both have variables in them and they're both the same letter. And then I see a positive 15 and a negative 8. And those are both constants. So we're going to group them together and we're going to get 5x minus 7x plus 15 minus 8. And then I'm going to be able to simplify these and get the answer of negative 2x plus 7. My next question would be, can I simplify it any further? Since one has a variable of x and the other one is just a constant, no, we cannot, so we move on. The second rule states, when dealing with variables, a different letter is a different term. So let's look at that example. As I look at this example, I see I have 7x plus 8y minus 5y, plus 15x plus 30. So I see that I have x's, I have y's, and I have a constant. So again, I'm going to group them in their like terms. 7x plus 15x plus 8y minus 5y plus 30. And then simplify based on rule number 2. 7x plus 15x is 22x plus 8y minus 5y would be plus 3y and then plus 30. And that is rule two. Moving on to rule three. Let me adjust this a little bit. There we go, much better. Moving on to rule three, it says when dealing with variables, a different exponent is a different term. Our example, 8x plus 15x to the fourth minus 8x to the fourth plus 10x. So as I look here, I see that I have x's, and then I have x to the fourths. Well, the x to the fourths have the same exponent, and they have a different exponent than just the variables that have an x in them. So again, that's how I'm going to group this problem. So I'm going to go positive 15x to the fourth minus 8x to the fourth plus 8x plus 10x. And when I simplify that, we should get 7x to the fourth plus 18x. Okay, again, if you need to, please pause your computer right now so that you can write these down and have a better understanding and can refer 